All right. We're live for day two finals. No one's even watching yet, so who cares? Mel, we are live. Oh, people are watching now. <clears throat> What's up, everyone? Day two of the 2022 World Championships. If you're tuning in, why do I have this ridiculous headband and tank top on? Well, Josh Davis inspired me with his Eye of the Tiger shirt. So today, I'm hungry like the wolf. And that's what we got coming up. Mostly this is for Nicholas Santos. I really need him to win a medal in the 50 fly for my fantasy draft on Swim Swam. You can check that out on Swim Swam. But we've also got a lot of great events coming up, starting with the men's 100 breast. Wow, this get up. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm showing up for world champs. There's Melvis, gold medal Mel in the house. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting some love. Thanks, guys. Look, I'm just trying to show out for this live stream. Are you wearing a headband? <laughs> wearing a headband. <laughs> Mel, you missed it, but Josh Davis inspired me. He's got the eye of the tiger, and I'm hungry like the wolf. I like it. I like it. I got to go buy a t-shirt now. <clears throat> Kaminga is winning for my fantasy team. All right, guys. We have, we have to bring updates on the pick em and on fantasy. Um, ben is going to have an update on the fantasy draft after today's session. There was only three finals or three individual finals yesterday. So <clears throat> uh, <laughs> he didn't do an update, but he'll have an update. I don't have an update. I need to. I don't even have the meetup. I need to call the meetup. This would be a bad. Yeah. Life. Would be a I bad just read life. the I, to, I just read the recap. I have no idea what happened in prelims. You don't know because I'm not Mel Stewart. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta do that. I said not, dude. I know. I know what's happening. All right. Hang on a second. Pop you up, you don't know about up. not. So, so I'm, I'm fielding phone calls from our photographer over there. They're like, they got him in the nosebleed seats. I'm like, and I'm so I'm like, I'm like talking back and forth to Fina going, take her, put our photographer on deck. Get him on deck. Let our photographer take pictures. Yeah, I know. It's like, Let take on, pictures. We're going to, we're going to run 5,000 images. Other media companies are going to run. Give us, you know, <laughs> help us a little bit here, folks. But not surprised that it's a problem on day two of finals. Not surprised. Look, it, for those of you who haven't been to swim meets before, it takes a few days to get into big meets like this, um, especially a world championships. Everyone's got to kind of find their groove. Um, and it, it takes a couple of days. Once, once you hit like day three, people really start to loosen up. People are like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. Do whatever you want. They stop following the rules. So it like, it works out. There was a lot of talk about yesterday's USA outfits. I vote next year. They all get Coleman's outfit <laughs> comment of, of the year. That's from David. That's our, that's our video guy this week. <laughs> David's running our TikTok and Instagram. Shout out to David. David's done a great job. He's got some media going live today that I was like, he's like, hey, man, what do you think about this? And I'm like, it was a report on Leon Marchand and explaining why this is such a, that was such an extraordinary swim. And I was like, this is a great piece of reporting. So stay tuned. We're going to run that on Instagram a little later today. Um, before the show starts, <clears throat> let's pull up some swim stats. Who Ooh. thinks that anyone new will get into the top 10 all-time men's 100 breast. Anyone? I don't think so. What, what did it take? 58-6? And what did we have yesterday? We had a 58-4, Nicolo. Nicolo's already in there, though. I don't think anyone new is breaking in. Anyone new going 58-6? Probably not. I'll be honest. Uh, Yanzi Bay is already in there. He's in the final. Zach, I guess Zach Stubble D. Cook could could break through. Um, he could have a good swim. He's only 58 mid. Yes, or sorry, 59 mid yesterday, though. I, th I think the big story about breaststroke yesterday was that Michael Andrew didn't final. 
And, and Holy moly, stop talking. It's because we have a special guest oh. already. <laughs> Kelsey Jolia in the house. How's it going? Thanks Kelsey? for welcoming me. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, just I, I know I talked to you recently about this, but um, tell us about South Bend. How's it going so far? You're, you've been a coach for what, two weeks now? You've been on deck? Actually, three three whole weeks and the days just fly by. It's yeah, it's just been an absolute blast. I mean, beforehand I was honestly questioning, here's my dog. I was honestly questioning Please. if I could stay awake all day, but I have and practices fly by love getting to get creative, got to write some of the underwater practices and it's been a big step for the team, but it's been a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, what, underwater practice. What has that been like for you? Like what, what, was, um, what was the work? Maybe not the like? whole practice, but in our power, the underwater set. Mm -hmm. So um, just getting the team to get, get a little bit more aware of their full body, like uh, experimenting a little bit with uh, trying to get their up kick a little bit better. Um, just different tempos, trying to do least number of kicks, most number of kicks and just think about it in a totally different way. Okay, nice. I like it. What do you think of South Bend so far? I've never been there. It's one place in Indiana I haven't been. Um, well, you have you found have any to come spots? <laughs> you have to come do they up. have good pancakes? I haven't been to breakfast yet. So maybe Wednesday morning, I'll try to find a pancake place. But um, yeah, haven't been to too many food places yet. Really just figure. Yeah, just kind of living in the, the swimming bubble right now, but we are excited. I'll officially move. I'm kind of back and forth on weekends, but officially move the beginning of July. So then I'll get more settled and explore a little okay. more. Nice. Very cool. Uh, and Tomas not there yet? He's no, still, Tomas not there yet. He's still getting settled. He, it's been a little bit a, more of a slow process for him. He feels like the Band-Aid is like, taking six weeks to rip off for him. So he's just ready to go bring the dogs. We did find a place. So uh, we'll have an extra bedroom if you need a place to stay. That's not an open invitation for everyone, but Coleman and Mel, you can <laughs> accept that. We got we to gotta say this. Her husband is the coolest man <laughs> in swimming. And it's ever at a meet or you're, someone's hosting you, you want him. Because you're going to be taken care of. You're going to you're going to have to feel good vibes. It's uh, he, he's 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 great company. I would yes, agree to that. So we for for those of you watching, we went to the the I think it was 2018 or 2019. It was the Louisville Derby Pro Shootout where they have where they did 50 free skins for eight pro women and eight pro men and swim Mel and I and uh, Tiffany came down for swim swam and Toma was our personal driver for the whole weekend he did everything he was, awesome. everything he was he was the everything man he thrives in that he does yeah. Yeah. Hang on. I got I got to take my butt guys dude yeah you got sorry that was bush league that was bush league i'm sorry um, so we've got men's hundred breasts first, but that's inconsequential because then it's the women's hundred fly. Did you watch it all yesterday, Kelsey? Yeah, I did watch. And yeah, lots like, like you were saying, lots of different results. I mean, 4am for sure was just incredible. And with Tama being French, there was a lot of pride for him in that <laughs> to see a Frenchman Very on top cool. of the podium again, because it had been a while and mm -hmm. Uh, I saw some stats on Leon's underwaters compared to Phelps. And I mean, as an underwater fanatic, I was like really super impressed with that. And yeah. what, what did those stats indicate? Oh, I think specifically like in the freestyle Phelps didn't take any off his like 350 wall and maybe like two okay. off his last wall. And Leon took seven. I, I mean, that was the most surprising part of Leon's race to me was was seeing his last underwater and being like, how can he do that at the end of a quarter I am? Yeah. And like, obviously you could see like time-wise uh, the breaststroke, but he also had, 
I think two less strokes than Phelps was taking. So he just was really so efficient in that. Yeah. I mean, and I feel like th that part uh, made a little more sense to me just because NCAA champion in the 200 breast, 148, two yards. And so it's like we uh, 209 long course, I think. So it seems like he's a bit more of a natural breaststroker than Phelps might have been, but still, that's yeah. Yeah, but wow. I knew for fly wise, I knew that uh, for the women's hunter fly that it was going to be pretty open. So I knew kind of like whoever the U.S. girls were going to be, we're going to have pretty solid shot at meddling. So yeah. I'm excited to see how it shakes out in the final. It should be a good one. I'm I, yeah, I'm really excited to see those young guns race and to see everyone. Were you surprised that Sarah Showstrom decided not to swim it? I Not really. I could tell with ISL that she just kind of has lost a little bit of spark in that race and maybe a little mm -hmm. confidence compared to her freestyle races where she just kept getting better and better as the season went on. As she got stronger with her elbow, but with the hundred, I think it was kind of hundred fly. It was kind of like the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and maybe you can speak to this too, but, uh, you know, it, going in aging in your career, if you've been good at something for so long, it's nice to swim other events for, for a change. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I can imagine her feeling that, but she's always been really good at freestyle too. So maybe it's just good for her to focus on one stroke. <laughs> <laughs> They're parading out. They're parading out. Where are you guys? All right. Yeah, men's hundred breast. I'm I'm seeing them parade. Um, Kelsey, you were. You, I mean, you've been Team USA teammates with Nick. You've been Cali Condors teammates with Nick. He, I, as as a veteran of the sport, how do you explain his success in the last year, or, or what do you take? from seeing what he's done in the last year of being focused on grad school, but then continuing to win ISL, win world championship titles, mm -hmm. win trials. I can't speak more highly about Nick. He's an awesome team player, great leader, and he's just grown so much in those areas over the years. And he, I, I was so impressed how he managed during ISL with the time difference with his classes, but then also missing so much class when he's in <laughs> like this incredibly challenging grad school classes. And the, the, the professors at that level, they like, what's swimming? They don't, they're not gonna like right. work around that as much. Like, what is ISL? <laughs> <What's> so <laughs> they, I, I think that he did such a great job, just like the composure he held all season long and continues to hold. and think this enjoyment he's found again um yeah so impressed and I'm definitely rooting for him tonight and another thing back, back to my husband they swam like NCAAs together too mm -hmm. and so um he's had a, a long this tra successful tra trajectory and every year getting yeah. better and better because I mean I know Nick was always in a finals but I don't think he ever won an individual NCAA title, not to say, like, he was, you know, top mm -hmm. three, I think quite a few times and top five a lot. Um, but we had Kevin he, Cordes a few of those years. So oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah, locked it down. <laughs> yeah. Stout competition, especially for where Kevin was. Um, oh, okay. Are you guys yeah. in the water yet? The yeah. Stream? They just, they just got in the water for me. I'm a little delayed. Uh Oh, Holy moly. Nick is out first. Way wow. out. Oh my god. Right behind have his ever, shoulders. Have you ever have you ever done starts with Nick? Because he's really good to 15, right? Yeah, we actually did a few kind of like hundred pace workouts together and during ISL, which is really fun. Okay. 27-4-1 out. Um, Nick gosh. Because, I mean, obviously he has the Georgia endurance and base, but he, I mean, you know, he's like a world champion in the 50, ISL champion in the 50. Like he's got that speed and he can get out so well. Don't get run. Don't, come on, buddy. You got this. Come on, Nick. Nick Fink in oh. grad school. Nick Fink in grad school. He's hanging in. He's hanging oh. in. Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on. Okay. You know what? I'll... 
I'll take it. He's on, the he's on the podium. He's on the podium. Good for good for Nicolo. He put it all out there. He did. I mean, he was. I I don't think I've ever seen him swim a hundred like that, where he's just out front so much, especially because Nicolo is more known for his front end speed. Mm. Man, everybody picked Kaminga uh, to win this. Fifty-eight two to win. What fifty-eight two one? Fifty-eight two four for the world championship title. How do we feel about that? 58. I mean, PD has changed the game so much. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Arno got a little cocky going into that. And... <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had, we, I don't know if we pulled the stat up yesterday from swimming stats on like the, the, the biggest margin of victory. And I was expect, I was thinking it was going to be Christoph Milak's to fly, but it was absolutely PD. Um, yeah. 58-2 for Nicolo, who's been 58-2. So 50, there was only four 58s. Uh, wow. Yeah. So. What's what's going through Michael Andrews' mind when he when he sees this heat and he sees these times? Oh, Michael. That's a, I mean, it's, it, that that's hard, right? Especially having the 50 fly first in the session yesterday and then the 100 breast semi. Um, what's going through his mind, I think, is, man, I better medal in the 50 fly <laughs> to, to make it worse. Maybe not not making this 100 breast final. Um, but I it's he, like he... He approached yeah. the season so differently this year. And I think it gave him some time to like, reflect and reprioritize and like do some other training. And so I think he'll be able to do the same thing after this, this meet's done and say, okay, what was good from this year? What wasn't, what, what do I need to go back to doing? And so I think it's, it's healthy, better to do it now and learn from it now. If, if, if there's agree. some time to learn, it's the post Olympic year world championships, but he, Mike, Michael's resilient. It yeah. seems like he lets everything roll off his back, but it's like, that's tough. He loves this event. And he, he, he's, he's like, if I had swum solid breast, I'd have gotten on a podium in that race. Yeah. I also think that he's, he was, he eased into it this year, right? He didn't start racing again till January or February, um, which is for him is his training. And uh, it's not, it, it seems like he took a, a long, much needed break after Tokyo. And now he's kind of refocusing um, with Paris in his sights. And so I think, uh, I think he's, he's going to be fine moving forward, but there just might be, it may, might take him a while to get back into the groove of racing. We're coming up, we're coming up on hundred fly. This is all Kelsey. We need, we need so, the deep analysis. Um, Kelsey for a long course, hundred fly, uh, in terms of the last 15 meters, how do you, how do you what do you think the best way to approach finishing a hundred fly is? I think <laughs> the way that I would looking look at the whole thing is like you got your bank account and the beginning cool. of the race you drop in some pennies, just a little <laughs> bit here and there, and you got some nickels as you're getting into the turn, coming off the wall, some fives and tens, and then you're just throwing hundreds at the end. So you're just <laughs> Giving it all at the end. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and you're just trying to get get home and make sure you're finishing each stroke, get the head down, and make keeping the, the integrity of the stroke there with throwing those hundreds down. Throwing those hundreds down. Uh, <laughs> that is a costly hundred fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's worth it. <laughs> um, this is the results. This is the results from our hundred breast. We got up now, just in case those viewers out there want some specific splits. Um, I'm kind of curious. It says Zach Stubbley Cook was pretty good coming home, but he was eighth at the. I think that bodes well for his two hundred breast. Um, everyone else, kind of, kind of what we expected. Again, think surprising. All right, who do you think's gonna throw down those hundreds, Kelsey? <laughs> let's pull up. Let's pull up our start list. Here we go. <clears throat> um, who do you see in this? I mean, you've raced a lot of these girls. Marie Wattel looked really good. Uh, I thought Louise Hansen would have a little more pop personally. 
Tori and Claire are right there in the mix. What do you uh, think? I mean, Marie's impressed me. I think she struggled a little bit earlier in her long course season. So she's done a great job this meet. Uh, I don't think she has what it takes for it to take down Tori. And Claire always has something up her sleeve for finals. She's done a really great job managing those races. It's really impressed me. But I just feel like Tori has a lot of confidence into this right now. And she's she's my favorite in, for this race. It seems like every photo that they posted on Instagram was the two of them together for a period of time. And during training camp, it's like every picture, here we are, we're on the beach. Yeah. Here we are, we're at practice. They seem, they seem super tight. Yeah, I think so. I haven't gotten to know them super duper well. I mean, we see how Tori's super focused behind the race and I'm more chatty. I, I tried to chat with her before world trials and that was the, the wrong time to do it. And that was my, <laughs> my bad. That's, that's her time in the zone, but, um, and we haven't been on, on teams together to have that time outside the pool, but um, they both seem like really sweet girls. All right. It's, we're, we're also we're happy to see Farida in this. Yeah, that I I would that was a little unexpected for me, but super cool. Um, and now I'm she was I almost drafted her on my swim swim fantasy draft, and now I'm uh, mm -hmm. regretting my pick because did you pick her in the fifty? Well, so it like we had to pick one athlete from each continent oh. for like this draft. I, I was between Farida and Yusuf Ramadan. <sighs> And I promised on because I thought he might be a little more of a wild card, uh, but shame on me. <laughs> um, yeah, Farida getting into the final, and I think she'll have a really. I think this bodes well for her fifty five as well. Um, yeah, she always has. Which you more front speed? Have you been on a podium at Worlds with Farida before? No, she's gotten third, and I've gotten fourth in the fifty two Worlds in a row. Okay. Uh, got it. <laughs> Dude, come Sorry, on, Coleman. I didn't. I didn't mean to put salt in that wound. <laughs> it was a painful moment. <laughs> here's the, here's a good question. It's you know you're Kelsey. You're coming up on on your on your final. You're behind the blocks. Uh, what's going through your mind? What's going through your mind right now? Well, me personally, just trying to remember like the confidence I have from racing and that I'm prepared. I know my race plan. I'm pretty type A. I've got my stroke countdown, my kickouts, and just trusting that process that I'm going to execute it well, maybe adjust something from semis that I wanted to work on. But I'm always thinking about staying light at the beginning, like I, those pennies, and uh, making sure my breath's nice and quick and trying to have fun with it too. I mean, Budapest is such a fun place to race. And so it's so easy to get your adrenaline going with. Uh, Hungarian fans. In we, got a we got a comment you're saying 5597 for the win. What do you guys do you have a prediction? What's what I are think, they gonna I think that's a that's a fair prediction. I think a 55 wins it. I can't I, I'm still in disbelief there were four 55s in Tokyo that Tori didn't medal and win a 55 um in the that's final. Whew, Tori looks good though. Yeah, she's got, I, she, got she's winning a medal now. That is for sure. Ooh, Claire in third. I like that. Uh, all right. One, five, seven, two out. Hungry like the wolf, Claire. Come on. Get in there. Oh, I, Tori's got it. I mean, if she's looks so good. They're at her hips. Whoa, that's this oh, is a big flex. World oh. record line. Ooh. Come on. Oh, Come on. Come on, Tori. Come on. Marie's hanging on. Five, six, four. All right. Tori. Nice. Ooh. I'm really behind. Oh, that's <laughs> that okay. was a great race. That was a great swim. That's, that's a great a race. Step up. Where, it's where did five, Claire come? Six for Tori. I, I, know, I mean, I know through prelims and semis, Claire was fading the final 15. So that, yeah. I, I don't know if she went yet, but. Um, that's a good race for Tori. I wonder how many women went 55 overall. Are we, can we? Dang, no results yet. 
God, I wish they would let us see full underwater so we could see we could, you could see the kicks, see where they're popping up. Oh, American record. That's yeah, time. an American record. Wow. Ooh, American record. We like we like the record books are nice. You know, coming this this. Uh -oh. Hang on a second. Coming into this. Uh oh. Uh -oh what are we? What are we seeing? You seeing? We got a result? special another special guest. Uh -huh. Co-founder Garrett McCaffrey. Let me interrupt. I'm sorry. I'm late for the show. <laughs> no worries. How's it going, Garrett? So, all right. Can you hear him? How's this audio? I'm, I, I, you sound a little fuzzy to me, buddy. I did on Claire was fifth. Louise was fourth. Yeah. All right. Kelsey? 55, yeah. six, 55, six. Put that in perspective right now for Tori and her career. What's I'm that? really proud of her. I think she learned a lot from last summer. Like we, we mentioned, like just missing the podium by hundredths and doing that through the adversity of freshman year at college, all that change. And she learned a lot from the NCAA season too. So I think that was a great swim. I mean, to go best time, anytime. And then it's an American record. That's really special. So, and how yeah, far like off the world record is that the point two i mean she was she was ahead of the line 15 meters out and then she started throwing her hundreds and uh it just got away from her <laughs> she she ran out of cash <laughs> um here's here's our final results um tori was 55 six she was the only 55 that's surprising because i thought marie looked closer to her than half a second behind but good for her. Claire fifth. Zangy Fay got in there for third. I can't was, remember. Go ahead. She won last year. Zang? No, no. Did she got third? No. Uh, Maggie won. And then. Maggie won. Mer Emma McKeon was second, Emma, I think. And then. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, she, she holds on to that bronze medal, but again, like over half a second slower, um, which I guess is kind of the theme for this world champs. It's not quite as deep as the Olympics, yeah. um, just in terms of those times, but that was, that was a great race. I'm, if I'm over here with our, our spammers back um, in the comments, I, I'm, I'm taking care of it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Zang. Oh, Zhang was second, McKeon third. That's my mistake. Okay. So Zhang was second last year, third this year. Yeah, I think it's that's going to really impact her to fly a lot. She went out with so much speed last year. So I think that gives Haley and Reagan a good in there. So that I'm excited to see that race later on in the week. <sighs> Tell us about your relationship with the long course tuner fly. <laughs> <laughs> Broke up with that a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was toxic. <laughs> it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul, Kelsey, that you would say that. It's... My grandma like really thought like she was worried for my safety every time. Like she was so worried my last 50. Oh, but Oh, uh, my best time was from San Antonio, Grandma. 2015, and it was the best time because I was I was like prelims and I was going on vacation, and so I like was like okay. everything I got, I'm going in. It was like 208, so not bad, but never 208 is legit. Two, yeah, I was gonna say 208 is really good, <laughs> but I was happy to say goodbye. And my trials ones, that's like. After the 100 free semi going into the two fly final, that was at like Olympic trials. Mom, at trials, she was like, we might need a life team. Yeah. <laughs> you, you swam the 100 free semi and then the 200 fly final. Mm -hmm. 
in Omaha in 2016. Holy moly. That's impressive. I would be, I would be scared for your safety too. <laughs> Big flex. That's intense. Um, did, and then you never, didn't you get in the hundred free, you made the final, right? I did. I was seventh, I think seventh. I can't even remember seventh or eighth in the final. And then, but did, did you swim on the relay in Rio? No. Okay. God, I'm sorry. I just keep bringing up all these. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Cause I got to do it the next year and actually was on the podium okay. in Budapest. So. Gotcha. Right. You're coming up on our so back. It all works here. Out. Uh, but they're about to jump in the water. Where are you guys in the stream? Men's hunter back. Yeah, they just jumped in the water for me. Men's hunter back. Ooh. I mean, it's 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 looking good. I mean, I think Murphy's going to do his thing. Talk about an ISL star. Um, I think it's great that Hugo Gonzalez was able to translate a little bit of that NCAA prowess over to long course. I can't believe Ryosuke Irie is still still cranking out that fast backstroke at age 32. I called Ryan. I, I, I Based on his U.S. trials performance, I said he was out at the 50 and in, in front of Hunter, and he, and he faded on the last 50. I, I feel like he's going to fix that last 50 at World Championships. Kind of curious to see if that happens here. I think Ryan is too much of a too, too much of a seasoned pro. I think he's going to do what it takes to make finals. He's going to take the Aaron Pearsall route. That was a big flex on that on that underwater kick. Did you popped up twenty five five out? Uh, oh, you're ahead of me, and we're on the same stream. Dang it! Oh no, never mind. Fifty two seven for for the French guy, but Ryan's second. He, he, fi he figured out a stroke count this year. <laughs> Last year yes. he didn't see the flags. Do the prelim. Yeah, this Murphy. prelim. Prelims seem seem really sleepy. It feels Wait, like. Hold on, hold on. You, yeah. you, Murphy didn't see the flags last year. No, no, the French guy. Oh, I don't Ooh. remember that. Oh, but, but you know because Tomah was paying attention. Yeah, it was bad. He like has really bad eyesight, so he totally missed the flags and like had hit the wall. Oh, was he okay? Yeah, he's okay. And then oh, he okay. fixed it for the two hundred. But I guess that's not not something you ever like. Kid. What, yeah, is, what, what is what's Armstrong going to do here? I think he goes 52-5 with a big flex and a first seed. You know, you're going 52-7 in the semi. That's right in the pocket. It feels this meet feels a little bit sleepy coming in from you know, from our prelims to our semis. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take an incredibly fast time, I don't think, to make the final which has been the case for all the finals so far. You know, it's not like Olympic times. Again, I think normally, like in 17, last time it was in Budapest, we saw a lot of fast swimming because I think we had like a crop of young kids come up um, and, you know, people were just excited after the Olympics. But I think this time with the COVID year, uh, I think, you know, a lot of people are really looking at this year is a break time instead of maybe being a little more motivated than normal. Every, every elite that we talk to behind the scenes, you know, only a few went public and said, it. Uh, you know, Alex Walsh said it on camera. Uh, you captured that interview Coleman, but everybody was saying, yeah, there's not a world championships this year. They were a hundred percent. Okay. With that. They were ready to, to chill for the summer. And, um, yeah. and I understand that makes sense after the last two years. Kelsey, you look nervous. What's going on? Um, just taking it in. I'm like ha having uh, memories of my just reflecting on 2017, and I th it's a lot different because they they got rid of a lot of the stands mm. after those World Champs, so the the stands are a little bit smaller. But um, yeah, just a really special pool. So pretty <laughs> Yeah. Would you say Budapest, the Danube Arena, ranks top three for you in terms of pools to compete in? Absolutely. So much about it, even like being right on the river, getting mm -hmm. to take the water taxi back to the hotel. Like I was going to say, atmosphere. Did, 
Yeah, that's so cool that in in 17, yeah, you guys like didn't take cars back to your hotel or back Mm. to the pool. You took boats. (laughs) Yeah. Um, so, so it's a top three for you. Is it your favorite pool? It, it could be. And also just because of the fans that they're like the biggest swim fans I've ever seen. Here we go. We're watching Hunter. He's walking out. We know he's, you know, he's only had four year round seasons, four long course training seasons. This guy is a raw green talent. Hey, look. Oops. Oh, we're back. We lost connection there for a minute. Or I did at least, but I think I'm back now. Um, Have you talked to Hunter much, Kelsey? I haven't. I did talk to Zach Harding. He was roommates with Hunter in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. But I haven't had too many interactions with Hunter. I know that he's got a lot to learn overall in the sport in a lot of different areas, but I think um, that can be a, a positive at meets like this when you don't even know what's going on, but well, there's a lot less to stress about. Ignorance can be yeah. bliss. The, the magic man's got a lot of fans. He's got a, I mean, he's already got a nickname, which I feel like in sports can be the most important thing. If you've got, if you've got a I nickname, wanted a nickname. <laughs> it's, exactly. I never had a nickname uh, in anything, and it makes me a little sad. But yeah, like that's it's a great thing to happen as as, as an athlete. I feel like uh, Hunter's in third, and he's right there. I think Thomas Chekhov looks like he had a really good underwater, but now Hunter's making a comeback. 109 and third. Yeah, they're they're all pretty much even. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually ahead of you, Mel. Okay, so I won't spoil it, but I won't spoil it. <clears throat> spoil it. Go for it. Uh, Hunter got third. Greek guy got first. Um, record. He set a championship record. So what? Wow, uh, that's pretty fast. Yeah, that's that's a uh, fifty two oh nine is is uh, that's that's afterburners. I, I you know if you, someone told me you could go fifty two oh nine, I'd have said that I would win the final. That's a lights yeah. out. I I mean I think that will win the final. If someone goes fifty two oh nine, I think that wins the final. That's a good swim though. Crystal fifty two nine, dude, dude. What, what did Hunter touch? Do you have the results for Hunter? No, I, I do not. Have, oh, here we go. Yeah, results. Hunter is third overall, 52-37. Whoo! And Thomas Checkown, uh, 52-1. So that's actually got some pretty good depth going on. Once again, Hunter Backstroke becomes, it's always competitive. Ooh, what do we got here? 52-1. Hunter's 52-3 in the semi is, is exactly where you want to be. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good place to be. So here's our final results. Mitch Larkin out. Hugo Gonzalez out. Zhu Zhao Jia. Don't know if I said that right. Person from China who who is the world champion is out. Ryosuke Irie in, though. That's so impressive. 53-00 was eighth. So that's, a, uh, that's actually a pretty fast field. Murphy was sixth. Oh, we got someone joining. Look who it is. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Josh. Woo-hoo. Hi, Josh. We have five-time uh, Olympic medalist Josh Kelsey. Davis. Josh, Josh, whoa, 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 whoa. Josh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't come out of the, come out of the gate with your T-shirt, dude. He, it's relays only. It's in the wash. 
There's no re there's no relays. So yeah, Coleman, so show your shirt. You, insp you inspired yeah, Josh, you inspired me. So you got, got the eye of the tiger, and and I'm hungry like the wolf. We've got Duran Duran. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. In the 80s. <laughs> I think I'm gonna yes. let Josh tag in. I'm gonna tag out. So Kelsey, thank you for joining us. Thank yeah. you for giving insight. Thanks for letting me come on. So fun yeah. getting to talk something with you guys. Absolutely. Talk soon. Bye. Bye, Kelsey. See ya. That's so cool. What's going on with TV? I can't I can't bring up my feed. What's going on right now? We got women's hunter breast semis right now. So did you see the hunter back semis? No, I Oh, now he's frozen. I, I have, I'm I'm totally blind. What what happened? Okay. Uh, Hunter Armstrong made it through to the final. So did Ryan Murphy. Perfect. Uh, the Cri Apostolos Christo of Greece, fifty two oh nine for a championship record. Whoa. Yeah, it was a big swim for him. Let's see how old he is. Ninety six. So he's twenty two. No, twenty six. 26. It's yeah. a good swim for a 26 year old. Or sorry, uh, November 25. Got my math. That's good. got my That's math good. right there. Yeah, 25 years 25. old. Well, I think Murph's, Murph's six through the 52.8. Was it 52.8? Yes. Yeah. Murphy is sixth, 52.8. That's great. That's, I mean, that's a good time. That's a good time. But I know he probably, he probably wants to be top three, but. <laughs> Stephen Nolan called you out, Coleman. He's like, glad to see you dressed up for the stream. Ah, thanks, Stephen. <laughs> Steve, Stephen Nolan knows me. He knows that in, during big meets, as as we progress, my outfits get uh, crazier and crazier. So, you know, we'll have some ebb and flow to it. But we got women's 100 breast going on now. The first semi, Jenna Strauch is top seed from Austria. Australia, sorry. Australia. Uh 1061. So again, we're not su nothing super fast here. Any laser and Lily King made it through to semis quite easily. They're both in the second semi. Um, Sophie Hansen, Laura Van Niekirk are in there, are in the first semi. Benedetta Palato, Ariana Castiglione of Italy. They should be good. Oh, and they're in the water. Uh, I mean, it's pretty even. Australian is actually way behind from the start, which is kind of surprising. Did, did Reagan and Claire advance okay? Let's see. Uh, In the Claire? Back? That, that I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, did they do women's hunter back already? List. No, no, no. They no. have not. Oh, okay. But, never um, Claire advanced, and oh, so I thought I thought the, I thought the semifinal had already happened. We only have Claire in the hundred back. It's a little concerning. It is a little concerning, Josh. Whoa, hang on a second. I'm pulling it up. Hey, Jack. Jack enjoyed my tiger shirt at UT Swim Camp two days ago. <laughs> That's a special camp tradition. We only bring that out at the UT Swim Camp. It's a great shirt. It's a great tradition. I'm waiting for Missouri and Auburn to hire me for the tiger speech. <laughs> for the tiger shirt speech. Missouri, where one of your sons still swims, right? Yeah, my son Luke, my son Luke right now. Oh, nice. He's, he's going to be a senior there. Um, that's great. So the, that's So the women's hunter back semifinal has not happened yet. Nope. Okay, got it. I thought it happened. We're good. Did the men's 200 free happen already? Men's nope. <laughs> Okay. Still waiting on that semi. Um, so yeah, Sorry. all that happened was 
What's up? No. Oh, Josh is here for the two hundred free. Josh is here for the two hundred free. Give me, give me. The Kelsey said that she. <laughs> we asked her about her relationship with the long course turn or fly, and she said, "Oh, we broke up a long time ago." <laughs> <laughs> um, she said the Danube Arena, the, this Budapest pool, was. It could be her favorite pool. It was definitely top three for her. Um, yeah. So it's it's, you know, it's a good pool. It's a good facility. Ooh, we got women's hundred breasts coming out now. Uh, I think live results are down. I think Omega timing. I can't get. Oh, never mind. I got him. You got him. I got him. All right. The uh, Fina just voted to restrict transgender women and add an open category. That we that just hit the front page of Swim Swam. Mm. Lots happening everywhere. An open cat. Oof. Yeah, open category is something a certain segment wanted. They're like, hey, we don't want to keep transgender swimmers out of an opportunity to swim, and they suggested this. So it looks like Fina's going for it. That's that's the decision they made. So they will have their their own trans cate, trans category. Yep, I'm reading it now. Like, yeah. Well, that, that seems the path of least resistance. Trans transgender women who transitioned after the age of twelve, such as NCAA two A champion Leah Thomas from Penn, will not be eligible for FINA competitions or world records in female categories under the new policy. So it is live. There we go. So we need, um, I don't know if Lily, I think Lily is going to get faster as she progresses because she had COVID a while ago. And so I think she's going to. Lily build. had COVID? Did we report oh, on that? It's top secret. Do not say it. <laughs> like share with no one. You know, Drew Keebler also had COVID, but so Lily had it. Did she? How long ago did she have it? And, and you know, how would that impact where she is right now? I can't tell you that. No, but it's <laughs> it slipped, and now it's out there. Now, see, secret. now I, I can't put it back, but I can't give you more any more details. <laughs> but I think, I mean, we've all had meets Whoa. where we're, we're coming off something and we get stronger throughout. Oh. Lydia didn't make it. Well, so Lydia, Lydia is not on the world championships team. Uh, yeah. So we have a comment. Oh, no, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of Lily King, Lily King. Yeah. Yeah. So Lily. Lydia Jacoby, not on the world championships. Team. Right, she got fourth at our trials. All these um, L's laser Lydia, Lily, I did it all this stuff. Do not look good. Lily, Lily. Come on, King girls. Needs to build into the meat. And so hopefully she gets better each day. Uh, Lily just got sixth, and I'm pretty sure that means she's out unless uh, the first semi was really and, low. And that, and that points to the information that you shared, Josh, which is, you know, in her, out of respect for her in her own time, I'm sure she'll let us know what, what happened in terms of, uh, Josh, can you say this? Was it recently? Was it, was it in the past month or two, or was this a while ago? Yeah, it was very, it was very recent. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, it totally makes sense. You know, it's, you, it's good information to have. It's good information. And, and, you know, a lot, of, a lot of athletes don't want to say when they're sick. Like, when, remember when Caleb hurried back in 2018, he didn't tell anybody. And uh, Well, and that's the thing. I was thinking about this this morning, actually, is that, like, when athletes say they have an injury or they say they've, they're sick, people don't believe them. You know, they, they get just as much flack from fans and from media, um, well, especially commenters or just, or just, you know, people out in the general public, they get just as much flack as when they say nothing and just perform badly, you know, because it, it, if they say they're injured or if they say they're sick, laser DQs King bumped to eight. This is crazy. Holy crazy. moly. Whoa. Uh, 
Hurts. That's big news. We need both of them in the final. This is nuts. Well, that's the thing is that even if it gets overturned, Annie bumps Lily out. Yeah. Ooh, wow. That was, this... I mean, it seemed like a good swim for, for Annie. This is some interesting drama. Holy shnikes. I wonder if it was uh, a double double dolphin kick. It could have been a one-hand touch. Lily got DQ'd for a one-hand touch at Worlds in the Tuner Breast in 2019, I think it was. No, I um, and I mean that was that was a hard call. So uh, I think it's safe to say Team USA will try to get that overturned. Obviously, here's the results. We've got them up. So you, as you can see, any lasers DQ'd. Anna Ellent is the top seed at 105.6. Hook them horns. Uh, and Lily King is in there at eight because of because, because of the any laser DQ. Wow. Wow. Fascinating. So like I was saying before, I think Lily sh could get stronger each day that she's you know, in the mix, warming up, racing, you know, getting her energy back slowly but surely, she might be able to do something in the final tomorrow if it if it stands. We, we you know we saw we saw this with uh, with uh, with Kitty Ledecky in 2019. She right. she battled back from sickness, and then like you know that moment where you finally feel healthy and everything turns on. Yep. Yeah, no, she had well, a bad and, she had a bad flu bug at the beginning of the week, and then she was fine by the end of the week. Well, and it's well it, that eight hundred, I think that was more guts than than health. You know, it's like I think she it seemed like she was still not a hundred percent because she had a battle with Simona Quadarella to win that, and she had to. You know, usually she goes out there and just dominates everyone. But in that race, she had, she, she her and Quadarella were head to head nearly the whole time until the last 50. And then Mildecki just turned the jets on and gave it everything and was able to, to win and um, pass Simona. But that, yeah. yeah, that, that was a hard, hard one to watch for Katie as she went out, went throughout the week, but she, uh, this guy, David writes in he, saying, when you have a slow mo replay of two handed touches, you could probably find a lot of faults with anybody in the field with super Which slow mo. I, so I'm I wondering think, if they're using that. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one of the the reasons why they do or don't use that's the controversy of using slow mo cameras, right? Yeah. Because yes, it's like when Lily did it. You know, they, they, you saw the replay and it's like so slight, or at least when she got DQ'd in ISL for a one hand yeah. touch, that when she DQ'd the medley relay, it was just like, like so, uh, so tiny that it, that that's why originally they just used refs because if a ref sees it, that means it's like pretty, it, it's pretty, uh, pretty substantial to where it's like, okay, yeah, that, that was not, um, that was definitely not two hand touch, but David brings up a good point of, well, if, uh, why I, I didn't read up. Why is Tatiana not at this meet? Is she still vacationing? <laughs> that I don't know. Um, I don't know where Tatiana is, but I know that, yeah, I know that she's not at the meet. Let's see if our good friend Swim Swam can tell us. 44% uh, of elites are not competing. They just, they, I think a lot of people took a break. You know, they so were. The other thing is that Tatiana, being from South Africa, has Commonwealth Games this summer, and which is at the end of July. Got and it, Sam. For, if you, yeah, yeah if, Sam, if you're, Sam wrote in saying she's going to focus on Commonwealth. That makes sense. A lot of a lot of those South yeah. African Aussies. That means a lot yeah. to them. Oh, we got Finkster on the podium in in the in the gray Team USA hoodies. <laughs> Coleman, I missed the hundred breasts. Tell me, give me the highlights really fast. 
<laughs> um, Nick Fink was out like a shot. He was he was leading from start to eighty five meters. Uh, mm. He went out really well. His his finishing time was fifty eight six. Um, but at the end, he got caught by two guys, Nicolo Martinengi of Italy, who went fifty eight two to win, and then Arno Kaminga of the Netherlands, who was a lot of people's favorite to win. He got silver in Tokyo. He got silver here uh, with wow. a fifty eight. It's five or six, I believe. Um, and and Michael Andrews' American record is fifty eight zero or fifty eight one. Fifty eight one, I believe. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Interesting. So yeah, really, really big bummer that he was not able to. Yeah. Make this that's, final because that's good. Nick Nick got a medal. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially with the, the year he's had of you know. <laughs> Focusing on grad school and not oh fifty eight fourteen. Sam Beaumont, this guy is on it. <laughs> yeah, where you go, Sam? And then <clears throat> look, give me the twenty second highlight of the women's hunter fly. If you're just tuning in, or if you're Josh Davis and don't have a working TV, women's hunter fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tori Husk led start to finish, nearly broke the world record fifty five six. She was chasing the world record line ahead of it till the very end. Uh, Zhang Yufei, who was silver in Tokyo, she got in there for bronze. And Marie Wattel of France was silver. 56-1 for silver and 55-6 for gold. So Tori really had a dominating swim. That's awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah. So, so next up is... Caleb and Michael in the 50 fly. Next up, we got, uh, let's see here. Let's just pull up our start lists, our handy dandy start list. We've got 50 fly, <clears throat> Caleb, Michael. So, okay. My fantasy team includes Michael Andrew and Nicholas Santos. Ooh. So we need to be the wolf people. We need some wolf hunger here. This is the reason I wore this shirt. I need to see Nicholas Santos medal in this. Andrew to medal in this. Well, you you can borrow Mel and I's '80s mojo for this. So we're, <laughs> okay. Hey, well, you can't claim '80s mojo. We're letting him borrow. He's going to borrow it from us. He was born in the '80s, man. Right? right. '70s, '80s. <laughs> Josh, when were you born? 72. I'm an 80. I'm a 70s, 80s oh, okay. guy. Okay. All right. Yeah. He's like almost your age, Mel. Where are you? 67? Exactly. 67. 68. Uh -huh. All right. Hang on a second. I'm getting text messages that that the that, that American record basically like took traffic down. Excuse uh, me. It down. The traffic spiked. People went nuts. The, the website's back up. Okay. It was exactly. down. It's back up. Gotcha. Everybody. Oh, Tori's American record. Tori's American record broke swim swam. Wow. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes you sometimes you're so good you break swim swam. So, which we welcome. We welcome that. Please so have. It, it have happened. What, what are the what are the swim. Ricky's butt and Tori? What else is broken swim swam? Uh, Dressel and Nathan, Nathan's, butt. Nathan's, Nathan's butt. Nathan's butt. Nathan's butt. Okay. In in two two age, we did not anticipate the traffic level ahead of time that that Dressel would create when he went the the, the forty two five seventeen six thirty nine nine hundred free. You know that when he did that, we were, the site was very yeah. We were having troubles. Is that a prediction, or did Caleb go twenty two three? I think that's a prediction. Uh, Caleb oh, okay. has been twenty two three. Uh, for the cha he has the championship record at twenty two three. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, out now. Okay. Sebastian Sabo. I mean, he could be a player. This this field is really tight. I mean, it really is the best of the best. In Josh, do you, have, do you have any understanding of speed in in the fifty fly? It's just it it's uh. I I think all three of us on this stream don't understand the explosiveness and power and how to control that in in any race but uh what 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 is it what's the what's the torque to get you there uh-oh 
We just lost him. Yes. He's back. We lost Mr. Minute. He's back. I'm back. Josh is back. Oh, this is this race is all snap. Santos I mean, is Santos is fascinating. I agree. I'm I'm all about Team Santos. I I love his narrative. I love that he's just still doing it at age seventy. Anybody over forty, you have to cheer for. You have to. You have to. I he's a lot better in the short pool, I think. Yeah. I I don't know about that. So what's going to happen? Here? What, what do we think? I call I, I call dress. Uh, What's it going to take to win this thing? Twenty-two, four, 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 twenty-two, four, wins. Josh, I'm going with a twenty-two-three Santos. That's terrible, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, that's that's, that's not that's not going to be there. I, I think I think I think Russell wins this. The twenty twenty-two-three feels right. Twenty-two-three? No. That's no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait to set this up, Dressel. Was a forty? What was he? He's forty-seven five on his first race. Six forty-seven six. Forty-seven yeah. six, which which is kind of like two thousand nineteen, and made us really nervous. So the question is: Is he going to progress through this World Championships? This race is going to be a great indicator of what he's going to do the rest of the week. He has. He's the only one capable of going twenty-two three in this field. Ooh. I absolutely guarantee that. Maybe Michael's on, fired up and finds his fly mojo and wins it. I really hope so. I need six, seven, and eight to medal. Oh, 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 Santos, baby. Santos, baby. Santos, baby. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. What happened? Andrew, Santos, Boom. <laughs> Tell me what happened. <laughs> hungry like the wolf. That's what I'm talking about. They both made the podium. They both made the podium. Santos. Five. I, I, I called it. I called it. That is some good mojo right there. What was it? Twenty-two three. No, twenty-two five. Twenty-two five for Dressel. Santos silver. Twenty-two seven. Andrew bronze. Twenty-two seven. Woo! It's, it's that's um. Okay, thanks, John. John's. You got John's better than you guys. Dressel Santos Andrew. Okay. <laughs> you just said that. Come on, Josh. No, you did you you said Santos won. You acted like no, Santos no, won. No, no, no. No, no, I well, he meddled, and that's all I needed. Well, yeah, okay. Well that no, I, it's that's worthy. That's um, yeah. all right. Dylan yes, Carter perfect. fourth. Perfect. You because Caleb loves we love Caleb. We love Santos. We love Michael. This is perfect. I just, I just, I just threw Santos under the bus. I'm like, he's only good in short course meters, and then he just pops off the silver, rolling into the age of fifty. You're a fool, no, that, and I told you that. That guy, he is so dialed into that fifty fly. He's so strong. He, he can he spin is. his arms so good. There you go. Twenty-two five for Dressel. I was closer than you guys were. You guys said twenty-two three, and I said twenty-two four. Yeah, thanks, uh, John. Help. But again, what does Santos do on the start? What is does he have a two footed start? No. <laughs> okay. Wow, but so that was a slow heat. I mean, overall, Someone says what? Why doesn't that? That was a slow start. I think um, Santos does what he needs to on the start. I don't know. I can't tell you, Josh. <laughs> If he's doing it, he's got to be doing a track start. But that, that's because he's not. That's a huge thing. It's like, what? How would you not? Yeah, everybody that? does a track start. Fix his feet. Oh, well. Whatever he's doing is working. I'm going to go. I'm going back into predictions. Going back into predictions. <clears throat> wow. What a great, great race. Well, I'm happy for everybody. That's good for Michael. That's good for Nick. That's good for Caleb. Cream star. Ooh. Oh, Creamster says no. Santos' feet come apart in the entry. Very sloppy entry. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, come on. All right. All right. So well, the I mean, thing is, first thing is, it's not about this. This is what Dressel teaches us. It's not necessarily look at Dressel congratulating oh. Michael. He's such a good teammate. It's not 
necessarily about the start itself. It's about how you translate that the first 15, which I think Santos does a good job of whatever he's doing. Yeah. So he puts himself well, in the race. I, if there's, if you're not going through the hand hula hoop hole and creating any kind of extra splash or resistance, there, there's always something you can clean up. But, but you're right. If he's, if he's heavy enough, if he's heavy enough, and he's going through a decent hole, he'll catch up at the 15 meters no matter what. Hey, Josh, you're really close to uh, Michael Andrew, and he, he he popped in ninth. You know, he missed the final in the 100 breast. And we were like, we feel like he's resilient, and he's going to focus on the 50. But then, you know, how do you, you're close to him. How do you think he feels about, you know, missing that, that 100 breast stroke? And the 100 breast, the, the, the final wasn't fast, but yet popping on to the podium here in the 50 with a bronze. Like I've said, since I first met him, when I first met him eight years ago and hired him for my race in San Antonio, the guy is a racer. He's been that way since he was 12. So now when I first met him, 14, what is he? Is that Dude, I can't believe ago? he went pro at 14, which it has been eight years. It's been eight years since he went pro. Eight years on swim swam, eight years breaking records, eight years racing at the top. Been, of the we've been well, we've been covering him since he was a nine, ten year old. Uh, this this set of curiosity, real fast. I I, I called uh, Dressel for this meet in terms of predictions. I called him twenty two five in the fifty fly. I'm saying he's a forty seven one one in the hundred free. Um, twenty 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 one oh nine in the fifty. You guys have any thoughts on Dressel now that he feels like he's sort of moving into his meet? A lot of people. Uh, You're right on, buddy. Right. Yeah, I think those are safe bets, but I don't want that to be the case. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people want him to go for it. They, th they think this is going to be the I, I world, want record. world records. I yeah, think they want world records. I think it could mm -hmm. be. Um, I think I think his foundation the last year um, is not what it's going to be for Paris. So I don't know if he we, he's going to have the biggest bounce to get those world records because he's still kind of building into the the big cycles for Paris. Um, I I agree with that, but I'm also I wonder how much of perform this is preparation versus nerves or pressure. Right? It's like at no. the Olympics he had an immense amount of pressure and you saw it when he won the yeah. hundred free and just broke down. Right. Mm -hmm. me, he's been, this is his third major world championship. He's done this again, three times now. So like, I'm guessing he's going to swim a lot looser this year coming off the Olympics, just have some rest, having some mental, mental, uh, recuperation time. Um, and I, I I think maybe th this could be the meet where where he gets at least one of say I don't know though. Josh, he was the, he was the only he was the only elite star that came out publicly and and, and said that when when World Championships was, was canceled, he said we got to have a World Championships. Fina's going to make it happen, almost like he knew something. And he said, I want to go to World Championships. Like he was the person who said, time is short. This is my last really good quad. This my time is now. I want to race. That's cool. Good on him. Ooh, Interesting. Yeah, just, Sam, Sam Beaumont mm -hmm. says, "I think Milak out touches him in the hundred fly." A lot of a lot of people think so. A lot of people think Dressel's going to break a world record in the fifty, but they think Milak going to take. Well, Milak was fast on that hundred free. I know he had a great hundred free. That's like I saw the hundred free. I'm like Milak could win the hundred fly. His coach certainly thinks. <clears throat> yeah. As we publish. <laughs> But that's dangerous. That's dangerous mojo when you start talking that it up too it much. Is. It is. Don't don't make it personal for Americans. Yeah, don't you don't 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 the talk it up when Caleb do. don't talk it up when Caleb or Michael Phelps is in your heat, you know. Be careful. <laughs> Seriously. It's the worst thing you could do. That's a good so, question. What what went wrong for Proud in the 50 fly? He had a great start, but I mean, and that, that was the thing, too. 22-7 in the 50 fly was second. 23-0 was seventh or eighth. Was, was 23-0 was seventh. So it was three-tenths from second to seventh. 
Okay, where are you guys are watching? We're in the water in the women's center back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we we have an American in this first heat? We do not. <laughs> That's why I'm not as engaged. <laughs> no, come on, you gotta be engaged. Kylie, you gotta be a Kylie Cassie fan. Since I can't see the screen, tell us what's going on. Kylie Moss is in the lead. Uh Harris for Britain. She was out in the twenties. Moss is just I, I think she's awesome. She's out in yeah. a 28 flat. Look at that. Look at her head position. So just locked in, she's laid back. She, oh, yeah. she she looks like she's going for it, which, I mean, she is. She's just crushing this field. Yeah, um, she's one of the best backstrokers of all time, by easily. She's so good. That's a great Ooh, world big champion, big swim. Olympic Solid medalist, 58.5. But that's the thing. She, she has not gotten over the hump time-wise. She's never – she was 58 double O or 58 one O for the world record for a while until Kathleen Baker went 58 double O. But then since then she has not been at the top time wise ever in yeah. any of backstroke event, but she has medaled or won in, in, in consistently in, in almost every major meet. <laughs> Sun Yang, fourteen twenty nine in Paris. <laughs> yeah, that would that would uh, we, you know what? Sun Yang swimming in Paris. Sun Yang, Sun Yang competing is is good for us, but I don't know how fair that would be. Well, Sun Yang also hasn't swam the mile forever. Wasn't Moss fifty seven seven in Tokyo? You're probably right. I'm checking right now. Give me five seconds. While you're checking, fifty seven seven. Yes. But she won silver the man. in McEwen, who is 57-4. So, again, she's medaled. She was silver back 205-4 in Tokyo as well. But, again, time-wise, she hasn't she hasn't been number one since her 100-back world record got broken. She got 57-7 on her back. That's – And gets second. <laughs> yeah. That's painful. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't. I I don't think you don't want her to be the Laszlo Che of backstroke. You know, she's she's done so many good things, but a lot of seconds and thirds, unfortunately. But, but I mean, still, she's yeah. Crazy. It's just a time where there's a lot of really fast swimming. So all this Sun Yang stuff is he still legal? Is he still able to train? Is he still trying to make a big meet? I think is this, Sun is Yang all is jokes? still training. <laughs> uh. I, you know, we don't know for sure, but the indications would lead to he's still shooting for Paris and he will, his ban will be lifted by Paris. So he won't swim the mile, though. He hasn't swam the mile in forever, but he would swim the 400 and the 200, I think, if he did. Right. And if he's in the water, he's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, he's, yeah, yeah he's that good. He's that good. He is that good, uh, legally or otherwise. We we yeah. watch we show his mile swim at camp every year just to sh show you how relaxed you can be and still go fast in freestyle. Because mm -hmm. that world record swim at the Olympics is just fascinating. I mean, yeah, he's his stroke is just. Him and Park Taekwon have the prettiest freestyle strokes I think I've ever seen. Park Taekwon was definitely is definitely yeah. number one. His it's, stroke it's is just flawless. Smallest, smallest splashes, just very, very mm -hmm. smooth. I remember seeing watching him both of them compete at the Santa Clara Pro Swim um, in June, and it was just yeah, effortless. Curzon's on deck. She just put it out for the. Semi hunter backstroke. There's so Reagan, Reagan walking out. So they were both. Reagan was 58 3 this morning. Claire was 59 0. I'm hoping that 100 fly didn't didn't do too much to Claire. Um, That's right. There's a big double for her tonight. Wow. Big double. She was fifth. I mean, I think she can handle, you know, yeah. I, I think she's young and resilient and will do fine. <clears throat> I know I'm certainly obviously not the swim she had wanted, but I think she's got another shot here in the hunter back. 
Neil, yeah. Neil just cor Neil just corrected me with Kylie's golds. <laughs> so I was wrong about how many silvers, but I but I do agree with what Neil's saying. She has really amassed an incredible backstroke career. Yes, she. I mean, it, you, Josh, you saying she's one of the best backstrokers in history. I fully, again, it's not necessarily evident, but I fully agree. Yeah, she's not you, the person right you think on. of right now, but absolutely one of the best in history. And and as Neil said, she's done it quietly. All right, who is in lane eight? Who is that? Mimosa Jallo of Finland? She's out. I'm guessing she may not hold on, but she looks good. I was expecting a little little faster from frankly from, from Crowley on the, in that first that first heat, the first semi. Fifty eight five, yeah. It's a little surprising, but she was faster than she was that she was eight eight this morning. I think again, Kylie's a veteran. She's gonna do what it, what she needs to do to move on, and fifty eight five does it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Kurzan moving into second. Reagan new, rec is new record on the world record line. Whoa, this is gonna be who? So Whoa. Reagan fifty seven six. That's a great Ooh. swim. So who did that? Reagan. Reagan was seven oh, six. Great last Claire was 50. second. That's a best time for Reagan. Reagan. Boom. Way What's to go, the, Reagan Smith. Heading into the final with a nine, nine, you know, almost a full second lead. Wow. Good for yeah. Reagan. Reagan has gone through, I mean, this after her 2019 worlds, the world record in the hundred back and two hundred back, and then having to, you know. Having, having these stars rise up during the Olympic Games, it's like she—I thought that she would have would have just crushed everyone for the next thirty years. Like I thought she was the new Mary T, and she said to fight for it. I stand corrected. No. Not a best time for Reagan. No, not a best time for Reagan. No. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Neil. Again. Uh, I thought I thought she was fifty-two. I thought she had been fifty-seven-seven. She's been fifty-seven, fifty-seven. Important this cool time. <laughs> cool time. Um, do we uh, we don't have results quite yet. But um, so I'm so happy for Reagan though. That's really good. Yeah. Reagan and Claire are very comfortably in. Kylie is between them. They're but they're first and third seeds. Fame and success is highly overrated. And when I think it went to hit Reagan, it was it was a little shock to the system to adjust to all this Tokyo stuff. And so I'm, you know, if she keeps sticking around. She's going to be fine. Our, 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 yeah, our comment to Cream Stir is keeping it really real. It's, it's, it's keeping us up to date. This athlete tested positive. That athlete tested positive. This is the right time. Cream, we appreciate you coming in with the hard news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, and Reagan was the Reagan was the media darling of Tokyo. You know, she yeah. got a lot put on her as did missy in 2012 as did katie in 2016 which katie still got it in and Kate, katie hoff well. in 2008 mm -hmm. <clears throat> i mean yeah yeah coming in you could tell at trials everyone feels the pressure at trials but you could tell it was it weighed on reagan heavily um yeah. and uh and she was you know she wasn't swimming with the relaxation we had seen her swim with before. Yeah. Um, and so it's it's great to see her, yeah, have a year of college under her belt, get out from under that that Olympic weight and and just kind of get back to her old swimming self. And she's in great shape. To have a great last 50 like that bodes well for the 200 too. But is she in the 200? She's not. In the she got third again at trials. <laughs> and so, but she is in the 200 fly. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. Do you have memorized offhand who our 200 girls are in the 200 back? 200 back is uh, Ray, sorry, Ryan White, and I believe mm -hmm. Phoebe Bacon. Yes, you're right. You're right. <laughs> um, so same as same too as the Olympics. Yeah. That's right. 
What is going on with her 200 back? Missed last year at OTs, this year at World Trials. Can't tell you, honestly. I think she's talked about it. Sometimes you're, you're off in events. She went 205 at Trials, I believe. But, you know, her 200 fly has obviously been feeling good the last few years. Her 200 back, maybe it's an event where she will never get back to her best again. And that happens a lot of times with athletes. They have a really good swim, and then they, they just – you don't find that same gear in that event, but who knows what would happen if she swam a two hundred back right now? I'm not. I'm not. So I'm not so sure that she'll never get back to her the, to get back to that because if she she's obviously doing the base work to pop off a two hundred fly. She's doing the work to pop off a two hundred back, and she's got she's showing speed in her hundred back. And this is the post Olympic year, so yeah. she had settled after her burst of fame and settled into her pro life. She might crack it. Mary T. Maher went extraordinarily fast in the 200 fly when she was 16. And then it was like eight more years before she got back to that time again. She went a 205 9 in the 200 fly in 1981. And then she did it again in like 86 or 87. She, she, she came back to like a 206 flat. She had this one moment. So they, they can get back. Athletes, elites can get back to times. Well, oh, yeah. but, it, but that's that's the point, right? Is that sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. Um, well, her, I'm not saying work. Reagan's not doing the work or won't get back, but we do see that in athletics. And to your point, Mel, we see people do a time when they're really young, go through a period where they just don't hit it for whatever reason, and then they get back to where they're in a good place again. She does have the world record by over half a second, right? She does. Yeah. So that's sometimes. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know, understandable if you're not there all the time. Sam, <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam just dropped in. Yishi she went in 2019. That, that she does come to mind. It took years to get back. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Who's on deck? Well, you, you just want her happy, you know, just swimming free and happy because she, because sh you should, because it's life is short and life in the sport is short. You got to swim happy and free. I don't. I once again. I, I where, who's presenting? Do we have athletes presenting? I wish we always had athletes presenting. Absolutely. Um, this is the FINA World Champs, Mel. Why would they have athletes present? I just, it, it just. I, you know, the, the only person I've, 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 only person from memory that's an athlete, that's an icon that I've seen present was Alexander Popov, and I know that he's not presenting at this event. Right. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Right. We sorry. Sorry about the delay. We finally have the women's hundred back results. Maybe with Mike Unger there in the mix, we can have more smart choices like that. Yeah, maybe, but maybe, maybe. not. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to see athletes presenting, but that's that's. I think it's more bureaucrats, which you wouldn't think swimming is that political because. I don't, I don't Those, know <laughs> because it's Those, swimming, but yeah. okay, well, well, just, just that just before we start on you go through the, and you start doing this cream stir, we're not going to, we're not going to block you. If you're stating, you're stating public, you're, you're stating the truth. This has been reported. We sometimes reported it. We're okay with that. We're on board. You're not, you're not going to get blocked. I think you're right. Yishi Wynn felt like, did feel like different circumstances mm -hmm. and that a lot of people think the London swim was a little sus. But it is an example of an athlete coming back after a long time <laughs> and, so and getting Mel, back to where they Mel, were. Mel, do you have any Thomas Darney stories? Because when I watched that guy in the 80s, he was incredible. And was he blind in one eye or something? Uh, did, he have, did he have a bad it, eye or something? I raced. I raced Thomas. It, it, <clears throat> wow. What did, when did we swim together? We've been on the podium a few times. He swam 200 fly a lot. He like wow. he, he trained 200 fly to, to prep for his 400 IM. Right. But uh, I, you know that 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 country has such a long history of pushing out talent. It's uh. But anyway, I don't I don't have any stories. No, like we didn't go out and ha and, and go to the swim parties when the meet was over, and, and I can we, we had a big dust up. I can't tell you about that. That, that never that never went down. But he's just. Uh, I can tell you this, whenever I was in a final with him, I was, I was afraid. I was very aware. I was well, like, 
those all the Hungarians back then, and maybe even now, they're all old school. Like they're all tough. They're all going to be tough at the end. Back then, they were doing twenty thousand meter days training. They were doing. We knew they were doing a lot. It, we we worked hard. We were doing you know twelve to sixteen thousand meters a day, but we knew they were doing a lot more work than we were. Yeah, that was the culture. So, uh, so where are they marching out? Are they marching out two hundred free yet? No, we're still on. We're still on commercial right now. So um, Sam Sam commented on Tori's nails. Were they red, white, and blue, or something? Uh, I think I think a lot of Team USA women get their nails, and they they, they have their nails done, and they look good. Um, so I didn't see Tori's nails, but I have no no problem believing that uh, they were elaborate and on point. You know, last night Sam you, says yesterday was the first time I ever noticed Ledecky's nails. I thought they looked great. Were they red, white, and blue? They were all red, and I think it helped her get the record. I still can't believe that was a championship record. That that still blows my mind. Um, oh, again, it's it. it, it uh, Katie Ledecky has spoiled us. Three fifty eight one is a sensational swim. If anyone else in the world swam that time, we'd be like oh, losing our minds, right? But if it's Katie Ledecky, we're like, that's a pretty. It, it, like, all right, thumbs up, Katie. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you won. I know that's crazy. Go. We're almost not that surprised if she does it in season, you know? Exactly, yeah. It's like if she did it in season, we'd be like, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. Um, Laser DQ still under review. So update on that. Laser DQ still under review. Again, if you're paying attention, uh, if any laser gets – if the DQ is overturned, that bumps Lily King out of the final. Wow. So we have one American in the final of the women's hunter breast tomorrow. Either way, uh, either it's either the DQ gets overturned and Annie's in, or it doesn't and Lily's in. Um, Trenton Julian is with Team USA as as to I'm aware. As far as normal, aware, he, did, he did the training camp. He's racing. Everything's normal. As far as I'm aware, yes, he was. That's good. I don't. There was a, there was a question about it, um, but we were told that he's still racing and competing. Um, as, as we haven't reported otherwise, and I get all my information from Swim Swim. So, as should everyone watching. This. <laughs> <laughs> we here. Let's let's be honest about this. Let we. Uh, this is a very sensitive topic. This is uh this this guy comes from a a, a family of elite swimmers. He's got great DNA, and uh, it, it was it, everyone was like, "Whoa, this is tough news." And uh, but based on our so, contact with so everybody, the, he's still there. He's, yeah. So, so the the he was added to the U.S. Safe Sport database. Uh, it was listed under allegations of misconduct. Um, so potentially facing temporary restrictions, but we reached out, and as as far as we were told. Um, he would be competing, that he would be at camp and he would be competing at world champs. So that's, that's the information we have currently. And, and at the end, but we, the, we back channeled for more information. We we're trying to find out what, what this was about. And, and the answer was he's on the team. And, uh, so we don't know, we don't have a confirmation on it, but it doesn't, yeah, we don't know. We, we've been trying to find out for a long time. Well, his mom, Christine Quantz, was on the 96 team with me. The dad, Jeff Julian, unbelievable guy, club coach, ISL coach, champion human being. Um, Trenton seems to have gotten the best of both of them. Great guy, great swimmer. We just want the best for him, you know. Hopefully he can uh, swim in a, in, a, in, a, in a peaceful place. So, so we got men's 200 free semi. Uh, the first one's up. Dennis Rapsis is in lane six. Tom Dean, Wong Sang Wu. Oh, God, I love this event. It, yeah, you're right, baby. Best event in the world. <laughs> this is such a good one. Uh, I can't wait to see Tom and Huang, uh go at it head to head. 
we got Tom it. Dean is not messing around that first 50. He jumped on it. Uh, was he out 24 okay. low? 2408. Whoa. <laughs> Popovich. I love Popovich. Biggest Popovich fan on Swim Swam. <laughs> Everybody's a Popovich fan. Oh, yeah. Popovich, fun. not Popovich. This is so fun. Okay, Tom Dean is out 50.4, Josh. What do you think of that? Ooh, yeah, baby. He's, he's That's burning what, it. He's burning that is it. the energy we need here. We need a 143. This is this has been the biggest debate this, on it, dirt, in, uh, between the Swim Swam staff is will we see a 143 at this World Champs? And we need Tom to do it right now. Yeah, but he's go, slowing down. That's not good. In Texas, we call that big cojones. <laughs> He's slowing, right, he's slowing down, but he looks like he's seven. One seventeen seven. He's slowing down, but he doesn't. He doesn't look like he's dying. He just looks like he's backing off a little well, bit. Well, this isn't going to be a one forty three though. He was just twenty seven on that fifty twenty seven three. So if he's another twenty seven three, he's right at one forty five double o. Yeah, that's still um, but really he's good. he's kind of slowing down. I think I think he I think you're right, Mel. He kind of looks like he's backing off. He knows where he's at. He he sees the field. Walks I wonder. I wonder if these young, I wonder if these young European guys like playing with each other and toying with each other. That's a that's that's a great thought. I would love it if they were. Yeah, Huang San Wu first one forty five four. So nothing crazy. Here's the thing. But, yeah, uh, you test, you, I think it's important to test your speed in a two hundred meter free. You got to test your jets. And it makes sense to, to get out fast and then shut it down a little bit on that last 100. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think we have to recognize Tom Dean's the reigning Olympic champion. He probably knows what he's doing. And for, for a relatively young guy, he's got some good experience and looks like he's got some good presence. I, I'm sorry, double double Olympic champion in the two free and the four by two. Yeah. Again, I think he's got some solid mastery of this race. Matthew Sates, 146.6, tied for fifth. I wonder, mm. 146.61 just ahead of him with Jokic. Um, so I don't think that's going to make it. Yeah. One four, but, uh, man, again, not very fast compared to what we saw last year in Tokyo. Um, 146 is fourth in the heat. Like, I don't. That wouldn't have even. I'm pulling the. I'm pulling it. The results up from Tokyo right now, but in the semis at Tokyo, 145.71 was eighth. 145.74 was ninth. Uh, wow. wow. Eleven guys were under 146, and that Ooh. heat, you know, was a, a lot different. A lot different than Tokyo. A little surprising. State's illness seems to have taken a toll. I know. Well, the guys had the guys had a lot of great moments this last twelve months. Still, he really has. Moment. Josh, what was your what's your what's your PB two hundred meter two hundred meter free? One forty six seven, twenty two years ago. Wow, that's legit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was it? One forty six seven. Yeah. 22 years ago, 146.7 was uh, – Because the story I, the story was I watched Matt Biondi. Are we clear? Is there anything going on the screen now? We're clear. They're, they're, they're parading out now. We're, we're clear for story time? Yes. Okay. So one, I watched 88 trials in Austin, Texas. Mel was there. I watched my hero, Matt Biondi, go 147.7, and my uh, mind was blown. How does a guy swim that perfect, that strong, that fast? And of course, he's six seven. I'm not six two. And I thought maybe, just maybe, there's a way I can do that. And I watched him on my VCR every day. I put my VHS tape in before practice every day. And sure enough, five years later, I went one forty eight and was just a half a second off. So, but for the next seven years, I went one forty eight low. I just missed the record for seven years. And then finally, when I was 27, I went 147.2, got the record at semi at the Olympics. I went 147.0 when I was 28. And then at the Olympic final, I went 146.7. So I dropped it by a whole second at 28 years old. 
Uh, that's got to feel good. And nice. then, of course, no, Phelps, and then, of course, Phelps, he crushed my records after that, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, that that's a that's a good guy to get your records crushed by, though. Uh, Josh, for the record, one forty six seven would have made the world championship team this year. You really? Gotten sixth. You would have gotten sixth. Trey Freeman Ooh. was one forty six nine, and he got sixth. Okay, what's on the screen now? Uh, we're just about to start the second semi. We got both Americans. Kibler looks good. He looks strong. Um, Kieran Smith is in here as well. David Popovich, Felix Sabach. Got, got a lot of, a lot of good. Yeah, this is a good one. This is going. Good good Andres, right thanks, thanks, Andres. I like the shark. <laughs> I uh, I was just talking with Kibler on deck a few weeks ago. He looked he looked happy. So again, yeah. So he tested positive at training camp, and so he was held off the four by one free yesterday. Oh, but wow. to focus on his individual, he made semis, so it seems like he's he's doing okay. Um, I he think missed. honestly, it seems like he just got a little extra taper, and he probably needed it from so, the work he's doing with that. I'm curious if he tested positive, could he train by himself and still train as much as he wanted to? That's a good question. Hey, Holy moly. 23-9. David Popovich out in 23-9. Ooh. All right, the guy's God, got it. Kid. God, I love this kid. He's not even been in the weight room hardly, I bet. Look at him laying on – look at he's laying on his arms. This is, look at this. This catch-up is just like – He is. His flow. His flow is so good. Oh I call it the God. throw and flow. The throw and flow. <laughs> I mean, that's a perfect way to describe it. He's just – Woo! 50.2 out. He is right wow. on the world record line. He yeah, is he's right on it. Digging it. Oh, man. Popovich. Popovich in that first 50. That's right, Justin. God, he looks so pretty. We're looking straight on shot. His hands Come on, David. Butter. Come on, David. Keep he's it got up. a little bit of, he's got a, little bit of, a, of a pop off Keep stroke. Giving it to Jesus. He is so far ahead of everyone. 17 2. That, that okay, throw so flow. He, that throw and flow, when I when I watch him, I go to practice and start doing my laps and I try and pretend I'm, I do really well. Okay, but here's the – guys, Ooh, he's not going to be that fast. He might be 44 high, 44. but he's probably going to be 44 high or 45 low. Everyone 44. else four. is just really behind. He's not going to be 44 four. Neil, Neil Oh, my God. 44 four. He <laughs> it. Right on <laughs> – Guys, yeah, you, Coleman, you're chewing up the screen with your predictions, buddy. I think you're a little bit off there. You were a little bit off on that one. Coleman, Neil, <laughs> Neil is giving Neil is giving it to us because he has a Neil faster. Neil gave us the answers. Team. He has the faster stream. I know. I I was watching the race. I wasn't watching the comments. Forty-four <laughs> four. It's impressive. You've got to feel good about that. He's your he's your man. He's my guy. I love it. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, he swam a really solid race. So, so what's gonna happen? Well, what's gonna happen? Tom Dean's the Olympic champion. Tom Dean has the experience and the confidence. The pop dude. Pop Beach is coming in strong. It feels like he's in control of this race in the final. Yeah. What's gonna happen is Popovich is gonna dominate See, everyone tomorrow. Pifu says that's a new junior world record. It's a new Anya junior said, world Anya record. Says one, Anya says one forty three eight tomorrow. What's the fastest textile besides uh Yannick. 143 1 is Yannick. Ooh, Besides so him, well, he was 44 1, I think, uh, in 2013 in Barcelona. Yeah, thank you, Cream. Okay. So, when, uh, did, did you guys see his side of the results? Uh, Drew uh, Keebler was 145 8. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, pulling him up right now. Does that make it? Excuse me, 146 flat. Oh. 146 flat was Kieran for 8. Kieran made it. Kibler made it. Yes. Okay, that's good. You got a lane. You got a chance, like Brendan Hansen says. Um, yeah. Josh, I'm so glad that you were here to, to experience this 200 free semi moment with us. Yeah, this, so is, like, what I was like this, is, this is part of my Father's Day gift. So Happy Father's Day, buddy. You have like uh, you have like thirty four children, correct? Just six. Just six. Oh, I'm sorry. A bit close. <laughs> so, 
Josh is very tired. <laughs> 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 so what's uh, uh? I'm pulling up tuner free results right now. Thank you, thank you. So if he goes, oh, here we go. <clears throat> so Tom, so Tom, Tom and Popovich. Mitch. Six three seven one seven. So, sorry, seven zero oh, seven one on the last three fifties. Popovich was hungry Ooh. like the wolf. That's all I'm saying. He's getting he's getting some mojo going. Him and Tom Dean, the, the, the egos egos will collide tomorrow. So this let's yeah. just drop let's just drop it right here. We we've got our commenters. They're, they're dropping their their predictions. What's going to happen? Who who's calling it? I'm seeing. Uh, one forty-three point one, one to one forty-three point eight. What are you, what are you thinking? No, no, no. Seven. That's that's Phelps. That that he's not talking about predictions. He's talking about the fastest textile time. Yeah, I was textile, asking about fast textile. Phelps did go a nice textile back in the day. So I'm thinking, sure. I'm thinking uh, Popovich three seven and Dean three eight. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Just, just for fun. Josh is the Josh. You're the two hundred free master. I'm all ops to you. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to be counter. I'm going to say I'm. I'm going to be conservative. One forty four, sixteen, one hundreds, touches for the gold. And it's. I. I, th I think it's going to be David. I think David's winning this. All right. Creamster Cream. says forty three seven for David. He agrees with Josh. Neil Jones says three 143s pop Dean and <laughs> Elijah, who won the 400 yesterday in 341. Well, if Elijah goes 43, we'll be happy with that because Elijah's a cool guy. But, man, that would There's be There's no way we see one, three 143s. <laughs> Absolutely where, not. Where, where's I can't read the, uh, the printout here. Where's Elijah for tomorrow? Elijah's in fifth. So it's it's Popovich, Felix Saubach, Huang Sun Wu, Tom Dean, Elijah, Kibler, Lucas Martins, who was silver in the 400, and Kieran. Yeah. It, Justin, if David breaks the world record, I'll dance on the coffee table here and go goofy. <laughs> if David breaks the world record, Swim Swam will break, and that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> because that is the hardest, craziest record of all. That is the record on the men's side. Yeah. Josh, Josh, and I were shoulder to shoulder when Phelps went the went went the the one forty two in two thousand eight. Remember that? That was I couldn't hear anyone. I couldn't hear anyone. It was my 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 time. My drum, my my eardrums are going to explode. That was that was a perfect race. I have a, I have a great story behind it. I was doing Michael Phelps was passing through Austin one of his last meets, and he's doing his kick set warm down. And I thought this is my chance to do a kick set with Michael Phelps before he retires. So I immediately dive in the pool and do a warm down with Michael and we're kicking along together. And I said, Michael, of all your medals and races and wins, what was your favorite Olympic race? I thought it was gonna be the Hunter Fly, 200 IM, 400 IM. To my pleasant surprise, he said, my favorite race, the race where I felt the most dominant, the most at one with the water was the 200 free in Beijing. And as a 200 free guy, I was so happy that he said that. Because he said, I've never felt more at one with the water, more powerful, more in control, more fun, more ease. And that 142.8 is a beautiful swim. It's a beautiful swim. He swam away from everybody. He just, he just kept pulling away. But yeah. I, I don't think we would have seen that 142 if he hadn't gone 145 for the bronze in 2004. Right. But yeah, see, I've, I've heard him say that too. I've heard him say that was the perfect swim. Yeah. All right. Women's 200 IM is in the water. Whoa. My biggest question is will Katinka Hozu win a medal in this event in her home pool out of lane eight? I don't really think so, but I really hope so. This so. is it, guys. This is the last big race of the day. Yeah. Uh, what's they're doing fly right now? They just switched it back. Okay. Uh, and, Alex Walsh is totally in control. Yeah. <clears throat> right in the first 75 meters. Uh, well, Leah Hayes is looking good. McEwen's looking good. Yeah, Leah and Alex, middle hundred is so good. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, Alex just seems to have this race totally dialed in. This looks like NCAA is where <laughs> she was ahead of everyone else, and then everyone else was just jockeying for second. But Alex is a second ahead right now. 
it's a hundred. So, so we want, uh, yeah. we want uh, gold, silver, and then we'll let Katinka get the bronze. I agree. That's that. That is my ideal. <laughs> we want US one two, and then get to, and then the hometown hero in. <laughs> but uh, McEwen looks really good. Leah looks really good as well. It seems like that might be the podium. Yeah, McEwen um, is because they McEwen all have big fresh. three styles. But Alex, good lord, she's only 0.55 off the world record line with a fifty yeah. to go, and she's got a strong freestyle. Oh yeah. Is she gonna break the world record? And she wasn't kicked. Remember, she wasn't kicking full out yesterday on that she fifty-three. Was not. Well, she's not right now either. She's kind of doing a, a distance from her kick. But where's the world record line? Why aren't they showing this? She's so off. She's it. She's the world record line. It's, it, it's that's two or six one. No. Is Leah is Leah coming in? Great Seven, swing. One. Leah Leah world junior record for third. McEwen was second. Nice. Wow. There you go. Team on the podium. Fantastic. Great, great swim for Alex Walsh. Yeah. So good. So good. Great family. Great swim family. Great trajectory. Woo. We love the Walshes. We need to, we need to, is we're going to pull Gre um, Gretchen in, her sister, and talk to her at some point this week? Of course. Well, we might. I don't, I don't, we just I might. We might much, have to. But Gretchen Walsh might make a guest appearance this week. Uh, you just got to stay tuned to the stream. But yes, uh, we are going to try it's, to get That's Gretchen a big deal for season. Leah, 16 years old, to medal at world champs. Not and to break people, the world junior record. That's, not many uh, people do that. Wow. Yeah. I like, I like how uh, <laughs> they're showing the women's junior I am, and then they cut to the U.S., uh, cheering squad, and they show the dressels. <laughs> so the, yeah, the, the dressel apparently has a very huge footprint in the audience. Yeah, like there's really Megan missing. Dressel, there's, there's Sharon, yeah, it's, Caleb's it's sister. Quiet. <laughs> They're going crazy. It's like those, yeah. 208.9 for Leah Hayes, world junior record. That's good. You want a 208. Yeah. I mean, but Alex Walsh just dominates everyone, wins by nearly a second and a half. That's a great swim. That's a really great swim. The world record is 2061? Yeah. Yeah, Katinka 2061, 2612. Okay. What place did Katinka get? Uh, hold, I'm pulling up the results right now. Um, Leah's on. Leah's yeah. getting, uh, getting uh, she's doing her on deck interview right now. And she, God, she's 16. She looks very happy. She's beaming. Um, we are she i think she is going to be she's going to be she's going to be a, she's going to be tough to beat at trials she's on the trajectory up yeah but so 2024 awesome. different place so katinka was seventh rika amoto was well behind the the, the the medalists in fourth um but yeah leah leah hayes and she's super versatile too so it's like I feel like we could see her in a tuner free and a 400 IM, maybe even a 400 free. Um, Leah Hayes is, is on the rise for sure. Yeah, she's she's not afraid of the work. She's young. She recovers well. Holy cow. That's going to be fun. Coleman, you did UVA and spent some time with Alex. And I, you know what? She was entirely focused on on, on, NC, on conference and NC2As. But it's uh, it seemed like she – that was that – was, you know that was it was that interview with her where I was like she'd like to take the summer off and chill and yeah, uh, I think so we're, we're in a very different place now you know after that swim it's like she turned it around at some point so I went to UVA and then days later and it was we and like everything was so unsure but like literally days later maybe a week week and a half later is when they were like we're having world champs. It's in Budapest. And so it was early February, you know, and I think, you know, so Alex had enough time to kind of process and be like, okay, uh, world champs, it's happening. Um, and I think it helps that she had Tokyo, the experience of Tokyo last summer. And then uh, she, you know, she has one individual event. It's the first two days. And now she's, she's on the four by two, but like, that's her only other focus, you know? So it's like, I think it helps if you only have one of them. 
you know? Mm -hmm. Well, it, it seems like Todd is able to keep them in a nice rhythm. <clears throat> peak for NC2As, peak for Worlds. You know, you get that nice March, August rhythm and or March, summer rhythm. And the rich just keep getting richer because if these girls can just kind of stay in these rhythms, it's going to help them. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's UVA is certainly doing something right. <laughs> That's all the swims we got today. Yeah. What? We're done with finals. That's it. That's it. I'm going to, I'm going to try and spend time with my, my six kids. So <laughs> Josh, thank you for dropping in. It was great seeing you. Glad I got to share the 200 free with you guys. And uh, I'll, Hopefully jump back on in a few days. Love you, buddy. Sounds Thank good, you for buddy. being here. All right. All right. I'm out of here. Let's go to work, buddy. Just got to do the real work now. Thanks yeah, for dropping yeah. in, swimmers and swimmers. We're here every day, so tune into the live stream. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Swim Swam, wherever you get your live streams. Join us tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central. That's 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. And if you're in another country, I'll let you do the math.